Hi, my name is Ms. Cornwell and I'm a third grade teacher at Arbor Heights Elementary. I miss being at school with my class a lot. I miss being with our kindergarten buddies every other Tuesday and taking care of our beautiful school garden and our community circle meetings every day. I know that your teachers miss you a lot too and we think about you every day. I'm really excited that, and lucky that I get the chance to learn with you over the next couple of weeks as we practice our reading comprehension strategies. We'll be, this week we'll be focusing on looking for important ideas in nonfiction articles and on explaining our reasoning. For today's lesson, you'll need a few materials. The first thing that you'll need is something to write on. If you have this week's learning packet from Seattle Public Schools, you can go ahead and use that. It's also available on the Seattle Public Schools website. If you don't have the learning packet, though, that's just fine. If you happen to have brought home your student response book from school, your student response book looks like it's the um, notebook that looks like this. You can use that to follow along with the article and use the reading journal section in the back to write. But if you don't have that, you can just use a piece of scratch paper or a journal. So for example, I have this little composition notebook that I'm going to use to write. I also just found some papers that already had been used on, the, on one side and I'm going to write on the back of those. You'll also need a pen or a pencil to write with, and you'll need a turn and talk partner. You have some options for your turn and talk partner also. If you have someone at home who's watching this video with you, a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, a cousin, you can talk to them. If you speak a different language, a language other than English with this person, you can have your discussions in that language, that's just fine. If you're watching this video by yourself, you could turn and talk to, uh, if you have a pet at home, you could talk to them or a stuffed animal, or you can just think about your answers in your head. You'll also need, I think that's actually all you'll need. So go ahead and take a few minutes, few moments to gather those materials. I'll wait until you're ready. Today, we're going to practice looking for important ideas by reading a nonfiction article about a popular recess game. Any guesses what that might be about? Well, let's see. If you'd like to follow along in your learning packet, you can open up to the article banning tag in there. If you have your student response book, it's also printed on page 56. If you don't have either of those two things, just follow along with me on the screen. I'm going to share it with you now. Okay. Before I read a nonfiction article like this, I like to do what I call a text walk. When I do a text walk, I don't read all of the words. I just look at some of the important text features. In this one, I'm going to look at the illustrations. So I see this illustration here of a couple of kids running. I look at the title. This is titled Banning Tag. And then if, they ha if the article has them, I look at the section headings. And if I scroll to the second page, I can see that this one does have section headings. They're in bold, so they're really easy for me to find. The other side, different types of tag and other games. These text features can really help the reader to get an idea of what they might learn from the article before they start. And that's what I do when I do a text walk. There's also one more text feature here. There's a photograph. Um, it doesn't have a caption, but it looks like it's a couple of um, students playing tag at recess. Based on the section headings and the um, and the title of the article, what do you think that this article might be about? I've got a pretty good idea that it's going to have something to do with the game of tag at recess and maybe some people's opinions about it. 
As I read through this article, you're welcome to follow along on the screen or if you have a printed version. I'm going to stop after each section for us to turn and talk. And in my classroom, we use this hand signal, turn and talk, so you can look for me to do that. After each section, you'll turn and talk about this question. What do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from this part? So I'll leave this up here so we can remember that's what we're thinking about. Banning tag. Imagine that you are being chased. You run as fast as you can, but you are not quick enough. You feel hands on your back touching you. You trip, fall down, skinning your knee. Not again. You are tired of always being it. Has this ever happened to you? If it has, you know that it does not feel very good. Some principals, teachers, and parents are worried that playing tag at recess is too dangerous. They argue that kids run into one another, fall down, and get hurt playing tag. They say that sometimes tag leads to hitting, pushing, and bullying. In response to these concerns, schools all over the country are banning, that means saying you're not allowed to play, banning the game of tag during recess. After reading this first section, what do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from this part? Think first. And then if you have a turn and talk partner, go ahead and turn and talk. When I've asked this question to other th third graders, they've said that they think that the most important idea in this section is that some schools are banning the game of tag because they are saying that it's too dangerous and kids are getting hurt. The next section, keep thinking about what's the most important thing to understand and remember. The next section is the other side. Some parents and kids think schools should not ban tag. A third grader from the state of Washington even started a petition. A petition is a letter that uh, lots of people sign to try to get something to change or something to happen. So let's see what this petition was about. A third grader from the state of Washington even started a petition to get his principal to change the ban and let the kids play tag again at recess. There are a lot of good things about the game. It is easy to get started because you do not need anything to play except some friends. Also, while you run around, you are getting exercise and having fun at the same time. Many people are upset that recess has to be ruined for everyone just because a few children play too rough. After all, the game of tag has been around for hundreds of years. What do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from this part? Think first. And then go ahead and turn and talk. When I've asked this question to other third graders, um, they've said that they think that the most important thing to understand and remember from this part is that some people think that schools shouldn't ban tag, that there are a lot of reasons why it's a good thing to do. The next section is different types of tag. There are many different versions of tag. You probably know how to play some of them. Versions means um, different kinds or varieties. One of the most popular versions of tag is freeze tag, where instead of being it when you are caught, you have to stand still until another player touches you. There is also tunnel tag, which is like freeze tag, except that your teammate must crawl through your legs before you can play again. Monster tag starts with one person chasing all the others. 
As each player is tagged, he or she joins hands with it to help chase the others. In the, e in the end, there is a long chain of players who are all it working together. With all the hands and feet, the chain reminds some people of a monster. I'm gonna do, in my classroom, we use an I agree, silent I agree sign to show if we have a connection or if we agree with something. And I've played monster tag before. So maybe you're doing an I agree at home about some games that you, some versions you've played. With all the hands and feet, the chain reminds some people of a monster. That is how this kind of tag got its name. All right, I bet you know the question I'm gonna ask. Here it is. What do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from this part? Think first. And turn and talk. I think the most important thing to understand and remember from this part is that there are lots of different types of tag to play. All right, last section is other games. If your school does not allow tag at recess, there are lots of other games you can play instead. If you have a ball, you can organize a game of kickball or foursquare. With a piece of chalk and a few pebbles, you can play hopscotch. You can probably think of many more fun things to do during recess. Whatever you are allowed to do at recess, it is important that you play fair and are gentle with others. When everyone feels safe, everyone can have fun. Okay, last time for today at least that I'm gonna ask you this question. What do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from this part? You guessed it. Turn and talk. One third grader told me that they think that the most important thing to understand and remember from this part is that even if you're not allowed to play tag at recess, there are lots of other games that are fun that you can play outside at recess instead. Now that we've read through this whole article, I'd like you to imagine that someone who hasn't read this article before asks you, what is this article about? What would you tell them in one sentence? I would say that this article is about why some people think that banning that tag should be banned and other people think that it should not be banned. If you had a different idea than me, that's okay though too. Now, this article talked about two different opinions. Banning tag is a good idea or banning tag is not a good idea. I'm curious to know what you think. Do you think banning tag is a good idea? Why or why not? Now, I have a very important sentence to show you that we're gonna use to answer this question. Not just this question, but many other questions. The sentence is, dun, 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 the reason I think this is. Here's why this is such an important sentence. We might not have the same opinion about whether banning tag is a good idea. In fact, we might not have the same opinion about a lot of things. And it's okay to have different opinions about lots of different things and it's okay to talk to people who have different opinions than you. We can um, explain, as long as we can explain our reasoning, we can have more useful discussions about our opinions and we can do it in a respect, and as long as we do it in a respectful way. So not just for this question, but for lots of discussions and for lots of um, 
answering questions in school, using this sentence can help you to be to take responsibility for your learning and to share your evidence and your reasoning. So here it is. Read it with me. The reason I think this is. For this question, the question, do you think banning tag is a good idea? Your reasons could include things that you learned from the article we read or from your own experiences with the game of tag. Take just a few moments to turn and discuss your thoughts, your answer with um, your partner or just think it in your head and make sure to use the sentence stem, the reason I think this is. If you're finished, finished discussing, find your learning packet or your the reading journal section of your student response book or just another piece of paper because now we're going to write down our answer to this question. I'm going to use my notebook and I'm going to turn to the next blank piece of paper. I'm going to write today's date on the top. And now I'm ready to answer this question. The first thing that I'm going to do is say my answer. Do I think banning tag is a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm going to write that in a complete sentence. I'm going to write, I think that banning tag is not a good idea. Am I finished? No, I need to explain my reasoning. The reason I think this. The first reason I thought of was um, in the article I thought it was really convincing when they said that tag is a good way for kids to get exercise because as a teacher, I want my students to be healthy. And I know that that might convince other people too, um, parents or adults, that it's actually good for kids to play tag. So that's what I'm gonna write next. And I actually already did this, so I'll show you. That's what I wrote next. But I also wanted to have um, another reason as well to make my answer even more convincing. So then I thought about my own experience um, at my school, I know that the PE teachers teach kids the rules of tag during PE class. And when they know the rules, then they play it in a way that's more safe. So that's what I wrote down next. I wrote the reason I think this is that tag is a good way to get exercise. And then my next sentence says, at my school, PE teachers teach rules so kids can be safe when they play tag. I used complete sentences, I capitalized each sentence, and I used a period or a, some other kind of punctuation at the end. And actually, I think I wanna revise this a little bit and I wanna use a transition word to say also at my school so that you can tell that's my second reason. You might have a different opinion that, than me and that's okay, in fact, that's great. Uh, share, just make sure that you share your reasons, the reason I think this is, when you are writing your answer. Take some time to write down your answers, and after or at some other point today, make sure that you do your IDR time. Read for at least 20 minutes a Just Write book. You can read a book that you have at home or use some of the Seattle Public Schools resources to find an ebook to read online. I'm going to continue reading a book that I'm really into right now, which is called The Gauntlet. It's a fantasy book, and so I'm enjoying that one. Next time, we'll read a couple more articles and continue to discuss the important ideas. I'll see you next time. Bye.